Introducing VasoFlux for Men, packed with 12 powerful natural ingredients. VasoFlux for Men was created as a safe alternative to prescribed medicine and harmful gas station sex pills. Ingredients in VasoFlux for Men have been clinically proven to help increase libido, increase blood flow to the genitalia, increase energy, strength and stamina, strengthen erections, and aid in healing the body. VasoFlux for Men is made in an FDA-registered facility and is certified for good manufacturing practices. DJ Academics. Let me see. I may play some of this video. Let me see if I could play some of this video. DJ Academics explaining about him buying cars for chicks. He's calling other people simps. Now, again, DJ Academics can do whatever it is he wants to do with his money. I'm pretty sure he makes a lot of it. But, bro, I couldn't be out here buying chicks' cars, letting the world know, yeah, I'm I'm smashing this chick. She's my girl off and on, even though we argue, she exposes me, she comes back to me. It's like dysfunctional, and then it's like social media. This is what social media is, man. This is the clout chase of 2020, man, the great clout chase. You got people who beef with each other for views they beef with each other to get uh to, to, to go viral and that's what go i mean this has been happening for a long time this ain't nothing new but what i'm saying is that when they team up then they break apart then they team back up then they break apart now you buying chicks card what's going on out here what's going on out here You buying these two cars now, DJ? And listen, man, again, you could do whatever you want to do with your money, man. But a lot of times it's going to be seen as a bad look. And people are, are calling him out for it because he's had issues with her. She's put him on blast before. She's put him on blast before. And according to him, he bought her that just to show that he could, which again, that's good on him. He has that type of money to spend. I'm not going to tell him any differently. He has that type of money to spend. Go spend it. But then people are going to call you out for it. I guess, you know, let me, matter of fact, let me go to this video here. Go to this video here. All right. The great clout chase of 2020. Hold on, let me put my headphones on real quick. Let's check this out. Chad, nigga, let me take this. Let me take this. This is what I realized. You can't win with Twitter. Y'all want to show you how you can't win? I'm going to show you the perfect thing that you can't win. I'm going to show you the perfect thing why you can't win with Twitter. This is why you just gotta be you. And sometimes you gotta fuck with them. You gotta, like, you gotta- Roger the reason 100. They gotta pick the D-U-D-E-N-O-T, take one of 31 birth control options and let him hit it raw. <laughs> so W-H-O is to be L-A-M-E-B-E-S-I-D-E-S-M. Thanks, Jado. It showed their hypocrisy. Sometimes we look for the approval of people that there's nothing you could do that will make them approve you let me say it again never look for the approval of people that no matter what you do they won't ever say oh shit that's a dope move yes, yo I boom what up we gonna talk let me explain so a week ago or two weeks ago it's a week ago so sweetie come out and be like yo if your man can't buy you a birkin you know what i mean all that neck twisting snapping shit that these chicks be doing long fingernails, acrylic all over the fucking place, horse hair down the back, all, all of that shit, silicone bleeding out, all of that shit that's going on. She said, if your man can't buy you a Birkin, send that nigga back to the streets. You want me to show you the hypocrisy of Twitter? I could go back to it in my tweets. Y'all want to see it? Let's pull up on Twitter. Watch this. Pull it up. Pull it right before your very eyes. Wait. 
It's my Twitter account. Okay. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Damn, I tweeted a lot this week. No, you dummy! You take the bus! It doesn't relate to you. You'll never get a Birkin. You don't deserve a Birkin. Any nigga buys your Birkin is a fucking idiot. Cause you. I want y'all to understand the theme of the stream so far. There's a there's a theme of the stream. Three different stories. There's one theme, and the constant theme is you have people, you have men, who are all doing pretty much their own thing in their own way, whether you agree with it or not. I'm in this situation with DJ Academics and the Power. I'm indifferent, but. When I have seen the things that she said and done about to the guy, I just, you know, I just sit back like, like, wow. Because I don't know if I could really be that comfortable with somebody again after what has transpired, have what other people have seen, you know. But again, that's his decision. I'm not here to go in on him because, again, that's his decision. He's a man. He makes his own decisions. We should be allowed to make our own decisions, whether we agree with it or not. I just would never trust this chick. I just wouldn't. This chick has been a proven liar. She's willing to slip into any group that she get that she feels safe and comfortable in. And when she don't want to be there no more, she bounces out. She's put countless men on blast, some particularly no reason. Lied about being pregnant by dudes. Like, is this the type of person? You want to be connected to. This is not the type of person that I would want to be connected to in any way, shape, or form. I would want to be connected to this person. You can't do nothing but give worthless pussy that's worth zero dollars. Pussy is worth zero. Any chick that tell you her pussy is whatever, like even it's that city girl song, my pussy talks. Shut the up. Your pussy ain't saying nothing but squeefing. Cut it out. Pussy is worthless. Don't worry, Black Magic worthless. dies tomorrow night or early Wednesday worthless. morning. I kid you not. Black men are breaking worthless. big league for Trump. Okay. Thanks, bad hombre. So, just follow me, follow me, because I know y'all see your act. And I'm with you right now, but, yo, what I saw on, yo, what I saw on the Grammy, hold up. Follow me. So, when I said this, I then continued to and say. And also, let me say this about the Birkin bags. Let me say this about the Birkin bags. I think if a woman is talking about bags, is that is that her self value? Is what type of purses she gets? And obviously, she doesn't value herself. I mean, we are talking about a generation of women who get surgeries to look like other women, right? They're not okay with what God gave them, so they go and they try to enhance it. And then they want you to, to supply their lifestyle for a body that they have sculpted for them. This is the type of generation that we are in. And the thing about the Birkin bags is that we have a lot of superficial women out here who are delusional. And that's why a lot of them can't keep a man. They're very delusional. A lot of these women think they should be with millionaire athletes, millionaire rappers. They're just very delusional. They think most of the men that should approach them, should be, you know, tall, you know, former thugs, businessmen, you know. Uh, they're looking for Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect don't exist. And all it takes is a Birkin. All it takes is purses. All it takes is, what, shopping sprees or vacations. You know, is that is that what love is now these days? If your value is a bag, then you have no value. Because that means that bag is more valuable than you are. 